everybody, it's the Hermit. On today's video, I'm going to be doing a Fallout 4 uh, settlement build. And this is in Vault 88. And I have built a manufacturing facility there. So uh, I'm going to travel there and I'll give you a show, uh, give you a quick review on what it looks like. Okay, so uh, here we are at Vault 88, and I'm just going to come down this corridor here, we're going to go see the, uh, the uh, Overbrush, or whatever the hell her name was, the uh, Ghoul, and uh, this is my factory. So as you see, I've got the uh, weapons and uh, armor station built there, that's just so I can scrap items. Uh, anything that has lead in it and stuff like that, screw your springs, and uh, send it back to my, to my factory. So uh, I'm going to show you guys how this works. I just basically come over to this uh, vault trunk, and I dump all my junk in there. So after I've uh, put all my junk in here, I'll show you how this all works. The materials get fed up this uh, conveyor, goes up this lift, comes down another conveyor and goes to the hopper. All these hoppers, I got three of them, they're all closed at the moment. Or no, actually I think they're open. Because I'm, uh, I'm feeding into them. Uh, but once they get to this hopper, uh, It'll fill up and it'll drop down on the conveyor belt down below. And like I said, I have three of them. Uh, I forgot to turn this on earlier. I'll explain all this here in a little bit. So, uh, the hopper is here and it's getting fed all these materials I just gave it. And it'll come down on these conveyors. And as you can see, it's hitting these little laser wires. Uh, and I'll explain that in a minute. And we'll just follow around here. And it hits the series of these laser uh, trip wires. I have the space for a reason. So uh, it'll come into these uh, component sorters. This first one sorts uh, copper, uh, lead, and fertilizer, and it makes 308 rounds. I can also set it up to make others, but at the moment I just really, I like the three or eight. So uh, this one sorts all my materials that I need for making grenades. And all those materials get fed into this uh, explosives mill. When it's done, it'll come up and come down this hopper, and it'll load this storage, and I am making plasma grenades. grenades. I make these because, uh, as you can see, they they're pretty, uh, 135 bottle caps for them, so I can make a little money off of them. So, uh, whatever that doesn't go through that one will come down here. It should be leather and cloth. We'll feed them down here to this, uh, builder. And it is currently making cute, adorable teddy bears. Yeah, I figure if I'm making bombs and ammo, I might as well make something cute, too. So I went ahead and made some other teddy bears up. So, uh, anything that doesn't get sorted out through there will come down this uh, conveyor here. Like wood and fiberglass, stuff like that, and it'll wind up in this storage container. I'll take it all out and just run it back to the uh, uh, other settlements. Now all these trip bars I have placed on these, uh, they have a uh, purpose. Anything that comes through and touches those will send a electric charge. The way this switch is set up, if only one uh, power source is feeding, uh, uh, it'll only allow one power source through. So you see how it's clicking? 
And it w once uh, none of those laser trip wires are touched, these will start lighting up green after about a minute, and it'll send power down this conduit, which will now charge up this vacuum hopper. And that is after everything's been fed in there and it can't make anything. Now, if it's still making stuff, it'll still hit trip wires and it'll keep the process from happening. But after it sucks the materials out, it'll go back into this hopper. Now, each, uh, each of the builders has a uh, vacuum hopper on it. Now, here's the trip wires I'm talking about. As long as those, now, these here, if they are hit, they will send a charge and that'll keep allow my hoppers to stay closed that are feeding back into it. So all the materials are going, uh, after it's made, after it's made its plasma grenades or whatever, it's going to come up here, drop it to these hoppers, the finished product will roll down this conveyor, and it all lands back in my storage container. Teddy bears, grenades, and bullets. Now each one of these hoppers leads to one of the uh, mills and every time the vacuum hopper is kicked on it will uh, it'll send the materials back through here anything that doesn't get used for making bullets, bombs, or teddy bears will get sent to that other one which I'll take back to the settlements so it's just a repeated process it just goes over and over Sometimes I'll have like 400 or 500 pieces of aluminum and no nuclear materials. That's where the weapons uh, breakdown thing comes in handy, uh, where I can break weapons and stuff down. And I can just feed it directly back into it. So guys, that's my ammo, or my uh, explosives mill, and my ammo's mill and stuff. And I uh, hope this video was entertaining. If you'd like to see how I built this, or uh, leave it in the comments. Maybe I'll do a video on it. Until then, guys, have, have a good one and peace out.